Hello from the Bureau. Large and powerful swells will develop along parts of the east coast as tropical cyclone UAC moves towards the southwest. UAC is currently a Category 2 tropical cyclone located to the west of New Caledonia, approximately 1,000 kilometres offshore of the Australian mainland. The system is east of 160 degrees east in the Fiji Meteorological Service's area of responsibility, but given the potential impact to Lord Howe Island, a track map is currently available on our website. Even once no longer a tropical cyclone, this system will bring strong winds and gales are forecast to develop around Lord Howe Island from Thursday, where a tropical cyclone watch is current. UAC also has the potential to bring large waves and heavy rain with its passage. For the mainland, UAC and the heaviest rain is expected to remain offshore. That being said, showers and storms with the potential for heavy falls will continue over parts of southeast Queensland and eastern New South Wales, with a continuation of that humid onshore flow and coastal troughing. The ground is already wet in these areas, with flash flooding more likely, and numerous flood watches and warnings remain in place. UAC, however, is not expected to bring a return of widespread heavy rain. The main impact will be on the beaches, with fresh southerly winds and large waves which have the potential to cause coastal erosion. The worst of these conditions will begin in southeast Queensland on Thursday, extending south into northeast New South Wales on Friday before shifting down the coast on Saturday, with hazardous surf warnings likely to be issued. Towards the end of the week, the remnants of UAC will be swept towards New Zealand by an approaching cold front. That's all for now, but you can keep up to date with our latest forecasts and warnings on our website or through social media. <laughs>